so this is the end of day two. I always have to, you know, have Bonita do her little cameo. So we're gonna go outside first because there's just a few things outside that were done. Uh, today was an electrical day. I am a little bit frustrated by the order in which things are done because in my mind, like you paint and then you install stuff, but that's just not how things were done. So um, there's now a piece of copper pipe in my garden thing here with a piece of copper wire and we can see that copper wire goes inside. Um, and I think that'll all, that hasn't been 100% finalized or just about there. Um, and that's for grounding my outlets. Um, and then you can see there's the wire comes down like this. And um, this one, I, again, I think he's just going to finish that up. That's from the new air conditioner uh, because um, mini split has like a condenser on the roof and then there's the piece inside. So, but I know about, you know, grounding outlets and stuff and I know this is fine. However, it, they, they did it. I'm very happy with that. Um, so it's like the bat cave in there. My contractor told me he doesn't really want me in there when I'm, when they're not working because of the air quality, but I'm still gonna go in and do my vlog about it, I guess. So they've cleaned up all of the debris. So that's what they did this morning. Um, so they grounded the outlets. So they've gotta fix that, new outlets. And I had shown him, I, he had asked me, he said, do you wanna pick out your outlets and stuff? And I said, well, this is what I've got in my bathroom here. And I like this, this is like a modern style. I like the, it, you know, it's not like fancy or, you know, got that vintage look that I like or whatever, but um, compared to what I used to have, which I'll show you, um, which is this style, like this, um, the flat ones are great and he heard me and that's what he put in. So um, he made the executive decision to add an extra outlet. Um, this is the one that I was gonna use to plug my computer into, but he decided to add one more. So I don't know, um, I don't think I'm gonna need it because everything gets plugged into my uninterrupted power supply and then that gets plugged in there. So I really only need one grounded outlet, but you know, I have room to grow now. And I think that's kind of his mentality. So you can see how this copper wire is gonna be underneath the, the floor. So that's really well done in here. I'm really happy about that. Um, in here, they've been scraping down the walls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so they've been scraping all of this down. So I still haven't bought anything. We still haven't kind of sorted out what I'm doing in here, but um, I think at this point it's gonna go pretty fast. Um, I was able to pick out my doors today and the doors I felt so hard because he, oh, I just noticed there's a wire that they use this hole here that I thought I was gonna use for the internet. But anyway, I'm not gonna worry about that at this point. We'll worry about the internet later. But anyway, so I was feeling hurt about the doors because he showed me pictures that the hit of, you know, he has a guy for all these different things. He has an AC guy, he has a, an, a concrete guy, he has, you know, an electrical guy, whatever. Um, and he showed me pictures of the doors and the bathroom door that he suggested was like 90% of the way to where I wanted to go. But the main door here was like 50% of the way of where I wanted to go. Like I was looking at it and I was like, well, that's what you've got. And I can understand his reasoning because I wanted a full piece of glass like I have for my laundry room. And he said, even if it's like a tempered glass or whatever they have, like, you know, in stores, somebody could just throw a rock through that and you're, you're screwed, somebody's in your house, right? So um, he said, because this is your office, it's gotta be more secure. So he um, showed me with um, pieces of, um, of metal so that the door, it's not like a solid piece of glass and the, it, the door itself acts almost as like a protector um, so that nobody can get in. So the way he had showed it to me it was a whole bunch of little squares and I was thinking, well, <laughs> whatever. And, but I said, that's fine, I signed off on it. And he came back about an hour later and he says his guy had found another model and the model took me from 50% to maybe 80, maybe even 90% satisfied with the door. So I was really happy with that. Um, and I think um, I agree with his reasoning. And he said, you know, the, the model that he picked is gonna be able to have a proper deadbolt on it, which is gonna be important um, for this room. So I, I'm very happy with that. And the bathroom door, is going to be um, solid, but it's gonna have like almost like a tran transom at the top. Oops, my goodness, right there. And it's gonna have frosted glass. So I think that's gonna be really pretty. Um, they got my air conditioner in 
and that was an adventure because it turns out that um, <laughs> I didn't realize you can get a 220 or a 110 and I got a 110 and this was all wired for 220 face palm but they said they ran some of the they looked at some of the wiring and they said the wiring would have had to be changed anyway so I was paying to have stuff wired rewired anyway um, so and, and then it worked out really well. I love the color. I, the, it's like a dark gray rather. I thought it was going to be black and I love the color. Um, and we're going to do the test of that tomorrow. Like it's got, it's got to sit apparently like a fridge. It's got to sit and then they'll uh, test it out tomorrow. Uh, so that required the power to go out for about maybe 30 minutes today. I was really impressed by how fast they, they worked and they got things done. I'm not crazy about, you know, this, you know, it's, it is what it is and uh, you know, they put it in and then they gotta take it out to paint, but I don't know how that works with the painting, but I'm just going to have faith because they've done a good job so far. Um, and then they surprised me and they got my little new um, ceiling fan in and I am delighted. It's not at all what I was expecting to go with. In terms, I was looking at one that had, um, it looked like leaves for the, for the blades and I couldn't find it in the right size because I needed a very small one because it couldn't hit, of course, the beam. And this was like all I found in that size. Like I was really, really limited in choice. And it's a Honeywell brand. I got it in Home Depot and I thought it looked really cute. I love, it's the dark brown that I really like. Um, and you can reverse the paddles, but the paddles are like a, like a grayish color on, on the other side, which I wasn't keen on. So I'm thinking this against a white ceiling and then I'm gonna have the blue against the, the wall there. I think it's gonna be great. Um, and before I get any questions, I was asked about on Facebook about the AC placement, um, that's where it fit. Like, uh, it didn't make sense to put it over here in terms of having to pass wiring and um, ducts and stuff. Like, that was just not going to happen. And um, they said, well, if you center it on the wall, you're going to have the whole room is going to get the AC, not just like half the room. And of course, it had to be low because of the beam. So um, I'm, I'm okay with it. I think it looks fine by the time that, you know, I've got everything in the room. It's not going to be noticed. Um, I paid for my desk, so I, my desk is being ordered and it's going to be, <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm, it, the air in here really is bad. It's going to be two legs and then a tabletop. And he says, what's going to be really nice about this setup is if I was to move in the future, or if I had to change the room or whatever, I could take the desk apart and have it moved in, in, as three pieces, three pieces. So I'm really happy about that. So he's gonna go pick it up. It's gonna be like, the, it's gonna be like, a, the top is a full piece of stone that's gonna be polished and it's local stone. And, um, and then he says, once it's in, I can decide where I want the holes put in because I want, I need holes for my monitor support. I need a hole to pass my keyboard and my mouse cables underneath my UPS. So once I have um, the desk in place, I think it's gonna start being a lot more obvious about what I need to do. Uh, for the holes, uh, because I'm really tired of my current setup where I've got holes like everywhere, uh, uh, holes everywhere. I've got cables everywhere. I'm trying to have a cleaner surface and I'm not going to go with a wireless anything because um, the wireless number one doesn't really work when you're relying on your keyboard all day. Like you don't want to risk having it, not, not having a good connection. And I'm also going between Mac and Windows and Windows is just, is right now with having everything wired, Windows will feed off of my Mac and I don't have to worry about drivers. But if I was going wireless, I would have to worry about drivers and stuff. So I'm staying wired. So I might as well just have the holes put in. Um, so I think that's pretty much all they did today. So I think tomorrow they mentioned, I think they're doing the floor, they're gonna do, test the AC tomorrow and then work on the floors uh, this morning. He asked me, you know, how I was feeling because it was quite depressing last night. And I said to him, I said, you know what? It's a process. I trust you. Just do your job and um, we'll be good. So, I mean, the money is going out. I'm, I haven't done my accounts yet. Uh, I'm not really worried. Like, I, I've spent my own money, um, like, buy the AC and stuff like that. I got to do the accounting for that. He's been doing a very good job about accounting. Um, in other ways, like, I gave him a deposit of 5,000 pesos for labor uh, this morning, he asked me for 1,500 pesos for um, supply, electrical supplies as a deposit, and I had to pay, settle for that. So the whole, like all the electrical work today was uh, 3,100 pesos, um, and that labor, insulation, materials, the whole thing. And then the desk, I was really surprised. He got me a really good price, 6,500 pesos. So I'm 
the desk. I'm de delighted with the price and I'm delighted with what it's gonna look like. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, so in all aspects, he just makes me feel very heard um, in, in you know, selecting things and understanding that I want, um, uh, I, I wanted to bring this in on budget, but I also want decent quality and I don't want a lot of custom things. I don't want a lot of luxury things. I want, you know, um, an average kind of renovation that's going to hold up. So, uh, I'm, he's done every, he's passed all the tests for me to trust him. So it's just going to be a matter of just, um, letting him do his magic. But I think he said like, he's going to start doing the tiling on the bathroom tomorrow. Um, and I was really happy. He confirmed, I'm going to leave this room right now because it is very not pleasant in here. Um, but he confirmed, I was really worried about the, um, tile that I bought because I bought this beautiful green tile and then it says that it's wall tile but he says it's going to work just fine in the bathroom uh it's not like it's gonna be a high traffic area so he's not concerned and he completely agrees with me about mixing some of that white and that turquoise to do the painting so it'll be a uh, tile wall about three quarters of the way up and then painted and then the white ceiling so um yeah and i'm i'm not 100 percent on this tile it's not like i was really envisioning like a real um, blue green color, like, like the ocean, like I've seen, you know, like you've seen the ocean, bright, bright blue green, but I could not find anything anywhere that came close to that. That wasn't a whole bunch of like little squares meant for the bottom of a pool. Uh, so this is the closest that I got to go with my color scheme. And, um, I think once it's on with the crisp white of the fixtures, I think in the blue paint, I think it's going to look absolutely fine. So I'm very happy. So it's uh, four o'clock. Um, they called off. I have to get to work. Um, it's kind of frustrating. Uh, I'm really tired, um, but we agreed that they're starting at eight o'clock in the morning. So I, and they have a key, so I don't have to be up like at the crack of dawn tomorrow morning like I was today and yesterday. And um, I think that's gonna help as we settle into a routine. And then they finish at three. So now it's four, I'm going to, oh, well, they finished at 3.30 today. Um, but I'm going to try to get into a habit that they leave at three and I'm immediately going to get on my work and try to do four hours and finish around seven o'clock. So at any rate, so I'm really glad day two feels like we're moving forward, even if it's a weird order. So I just find some things are kind of a weird order, but, um, they're going to deal with me if the paint is, gets on everything, you know, but again, I'm trusting the process. So I'm hoping to come back with something a little bit more exciting tomorrow, like maybe tile on i don't know um but uh they still got to do the, do the floor so i i don't know i i don't know how this is going to work and part of the fun is just letting them it's kind of like putting together a puzzle right so all right and um bonita says hi she's been very good uh she had to spend most of the morning on a leash because they had to have the doors open so, to the street so they could bring out the trash and i had her on a leash and she just stayed with me um, she's, es she's escaped twice. One time she just ran out into the street. And the second time that she escaped was when I had the paint painters here a few months ago. And I think she I wasn't home. I think she was looking for me. So uh, today I had to go out to the dentist this morning for an hour and a half. And I told the guys, I said, if you guys are going in and out, please watch. Make sure my Bonita doesn't get on the street. And um, they were very good because as soon as I walked in the door, I, I, she didn't, hadn't even had time to come and say hi to me when I came back in. I heard Bonita is in your office, like in my current office. So, um, you know, they're, they're very aware of her and they know she's like la jefe, you know, she's the, she's the boss. So, all right, I'm going to go back to work. Yawn.